What is modal on impact and how is it different? Let's talk about that next. So if you've been working on system simulations for any amount of time, you're probably familiar with Modalon. Uh, they've offered this library of components that you can use for system simulations uh, for quite some time. They're really well known for that. They're really well known for uh, the accuracy of those components, which obviously will affect uh, the accuracy of the overall system simulation. But they've come out with a new offering called uh, Modalon Impact. Uh, let's dive into what exactly that looks like. There's really three main components to Modalon's solution. And pretty much everybody is familiar with this library of components that you can use to build up these system simulation models. Um, the next component here is, is impact, Modalon impact. And there's actually multiple ways you can build up your model. You can actually code it, as in you can... <laughs> actually have a coding interface and if you're more technical you can certainly use that to build up uh, the systems model another way and you, you see this a lot today with these um, system simulation tools is you can use a drag and drop interface you can drag these components onto a canvas and then connect the inputs uh, to the outputs of one another uh, and that can be another way that you uh, run your simulation so there's an interesting mix of capabilities here. You know, the big movement nowadays is to use these drag and drop interfaces to, to build up models and that makes it more accessible to common engineers, non-technical engineers, at least technical in that, that aspect, you know, being able to code. But Modal on Impact has some interesting mixes between the two. Um, there are different ways that you can combine them. And as you'll see here in a minute, you can actually reuse some apps uh, that are built up um, using these tools, but that can be reused. So whole applications that then can be plugged into. So you can kind of flip back and forth between these views. And it makes for a very interesting user interface in lots of different applications. So we talked about the two different ways you can build up your model, either kind of through this coding interaction or through a drag and drop interface, but the other way is uh, to build up an app. Uh, so this actually gets into the engine side of things. So you can take your model and have it, you, the engine will compile it so that it will run. Uh, and this actually can be delivered back uh, into the modeling kind of environment as an application, right? So think about um, the engineer that basically just wants to be able to give some inputs, run the thing, run the simulation, doesn't want to know all the technical details here um, and be productive. So this will let them do that. Uh, so this is actually part of the modeling environment. Uh, this actually lets them kind of combine these applications, maybe with some of their own work. This combination of different ways to work with the model and build it up and reuse stuff, whether it's from a library or an app, um, it's really flexible. And I, I like it because I see a lot of these tools, uh, as you look at them, you know, these other system simulation modeling tools, um, where there's a lot of technical expertise that's required, or you have this purely drag and drop interface. It seems like there's one or the other, uh, one or two different modes, but it's interesting with model on impact you can kind of mix and match these as you want and they're basically two different views on the same stuff uh, so that's that's really interesting and can be really productive for engineers so using these different ways to build up the model and then execute the model that is really what enables these fast design decisions right you're making more informed decisions uh, especially at the systems level because you gain more insight into its behavior. Uh, and that often is a, a big issue when you have different domains or disciplines uh, having to integrate together to make a system kind of work as a whole. And behavior can be a big part of that. But that's not the only way that you can use uh, Modalon's set of tools. Uh, you can actually also uh, use their runtime environment to take 
one of these models, one of these applications, and then run it uh, remotely. Uh, so you can do this maybe by streaming sensor data uh, to it, and using it as an, input, as an input and using it as a digital twin. Uh, and that's really exciting. You can do that during testing to get more insight uh, for prototyping and testing. You can do it uh, out on the edge uh, to kind of support predictive maintenance, part of an IoT initiative. There's lots of different ways to use this. So that's the story with Modalon. Uh, as you can see, you know, they've expanded quite a bit uh, beyond this library of components, which has value on its own, make mo no mistake. You can use that library of components if you're, even if you're using other modeling tools, it doesn't have to be used exclusively with Modalon's uh, set of modeling tools and its engine. Um, but you can see they've really expanded beyond that. Um, it's really interesting how there's lots of different ways to build up the model and then a couple different ways to execute it. So if systems uh, simulation is important to your company, this might be a good fit. Check it out. <laughs>